sew circuit. Today we're going to do a really simple project using conductive thread and a pair of gloves to create gloves that you can use while texting. All you really need for this project are the gloves of your choice, conductive thread, a needle, and a pair of scissors that can cut through the conductive thread. Um, while it is called conductive thread, it is tougher to cut through. It's tougher to sew with because it will tangle up on itself um, like wire, you know, like a computer cord rather than yarn or fabric. As you can see, I've already um, added the thread to the pointer finger, but if you ever want to pinch zoom on a phone, um, you're going to need that thumb to be conductive as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I did this, um, how I came through the bottom. So just be careful not to poke yourselves. All right, so this is about where I would use it. And we'll pull that through later. But all you want to do basically is go around. You don't need that much um, thread in order for this to be conductive and usable on your phone. Now you will notice with conductive thread, it has a tendency to kind of bulge out like it does over here. So we're going to try and avoid that with this one by pulling a little tight. So your gloves might cinch in a little bit, but that's okay because it'll, it might not look pretty, but it'll work. All right. So now that we're just about done, we're gonna be careful and turn this inside out. Pull it through for the last time and remember to pull it tight. And we're just going to tie. So when you turn your gloves um, right side out again, and you've tied the thread on the inside, you will have a little conductive patch um, right there and there that you can use to pinch zoom um, your phone with. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment um, on our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to get back to you and stay tuned for more Sew Circuit content.